Hello and welcome back to another video. I'm your host Nutty New. In today's video, we have a story that was sent in from a local subscriber here in Anchorage, Alaska, and he wanted me to share with you his story, his incident here that kind of traumatized him, you know, being only 15 years old. I don't think any teenagers, any kids should have to go through this. Today's story is about a homeless man, street addict, drug addict, whatever you want to call him attacking these two youth here while fishing in the Camel Creek area in the south side of Anchorage, Alaska here. I'm going to read you guys his story and I'll, I'll go ahead and summarize it a little bit, give you guys my opinion and give you guys some thoughts. They were able to also get some video footage of the assault so I'll go ahead and throw that up here shortly. This story is sent in by Kendrick Zahn, 15 year old. Him and his brother being 17. It was around 5.45 a.m. We were heading to the creek. We are going fishing for king salmon for the youth fishery here at King's uh, at Camel Creek on 625-2023. We were parked in the Taku Lake parking lot. And since I was 15 I was fishing with my brother, he was around 17. As me and my brother were heading into the woods, into the creek, in the morning, around 5.57, we heard some screaming at what sounded like a female screaming at the top of her lungs. Help! Help! I have it all on video and everything, even the drug addict trying to assault me. So we were sketch out and paranoid, paranoid, but we thought about, we thought it was like an animal, kind of like a bear crying or a coyote. We headed to the river around 6.10 a.m., fished for about 20 minutes, caught only one dolly and let it go around 6 30 we left and we saw a gentleman on the bridge trying his fly his trying his flight rod he later got assaulted um by the by the suspect here as me and my brother were heading to go home around 6 45 we were minding our own business business like we have no intention of talking to anyone and this is what looks like all and this and this looked like a black hoodie dark blue jean guy I have an all description camera recording. We were roughly about a thousand feet away from each other where me and my brother were sketched out by him by the by the way he was looking at us and walking towards us quite funky and like he had he he had tension. As we got a little closer to where we can see his description, he ran into the forest for about 10 seconds and grabbed a four foot long stick and held like he was going to hit us with it. So me and my brother were so sketched out, I prepared my pocket knife in my hand just in case he decides to charge. Why are you walking towards us, towards me so funny, he says, the suspect. And right around 20 feet, he charged at us, he charged at us trying to assault us for no apparent reason. We just wanted to go home at that time. We were tired, but we ran, and he trapped me and my brother. Whereas you can see in the video, the drug addict assaulted me. He was trying to assault me. Assault me. We handled the situation very well. I went into the river as he was chasing me, but my brother was trying to distract him so I can get out. But he had me stuck where I then yelled at the top of my lungs, Hey! Which seems to got his him a little scared. And then when the event happened, my brother called her call him a freaking crackhead to hopefully get him to chase my brother but unfortunately that didn't work and he had me trapped 10 to 15 feet on the high ground and I was in the lower ground but it was full of trees and tall plants so I did a smart decision and decided to go into the river not fully because it was deep fast and murky water because of the rain thankfully he didn't go and got it to a point where he, my brother got up close to him. Thankfully, the distraction worked well. I ran hella fast, and he was on drugs, so he didn't run fast and seemed to attack us for no reason. We didn't do anything. And what do you want from us? And during my brother's distraction, I made a run for it. Ran hella fast. Who he then tried chasing me, but he was too slow, and I had drunk, so I ran hella fast because I was quite scared because I'm only 15. I'm not trying to get killed by some crackhead at Campbell Creek who is probably homeless. This is a crazy story, guys. I ran towards the train bridge where I thankfully saw a house through all my fishing gear and everything over the fence out of fear and ran towards the nearby house to hopefully call the cops. And they thankfully did and the cops came out and at this moment, I never felt so safe and protected in my life. It was like they were my parents. I gave them the full description to the police and 
thankfully he got into custody. And I heard later, I heard a little later on he assaulted the same dude that was trying his fly fishing rod on the bridge, as I mentioned above. Which I felt bad because he was just a fly fishing man fishing for trout and got roundly assaulted by this crackhead. And we filed a strangling order on him so he could never get near us. This event terrified me age 15, but now I think about it, I easily outran a drug addict with all my fishing gear. And I handled the situation very, very well with my gear and waiter as I was wearing at the time. The end results, we filed a restraining order and he got... Um, he was arrested. He's going to jail for the first and second degree assault and maybe possession of drugs who haven't got any information on the uh, Camel Creek. I would like others to know, always bring a gun and stay out of Camel Creek. It is filled with trash and lots of homeless people and it's forested to the brim and there's hella sketchy things that can happen which eventually may have led to this event. I don't know what's best choice, but they should clear some of the forests where it's the least environment safe because there are literally kids with parents who go out to Camel Creek to fish for the youth fishing for canes and who knows if drug addict or someone has attacked them. First time experience a drug addict trying to assault me and I was terrified it was my first time. I was terrified I didn't know if he I didn't know if he had a pocket knife or or what, but thankfully he's in custody. Kids shouldn't go through this situation, especially at this young age. Very traumatizing. He got arrested for assault on the fisherman and hopefully attempted assault on a minor if that's a thing. I'll go ahead and play the videos here. Let me go ahead and play the videos and then I'll come back and give you guys my personal thoughts and opinion on this situation here. I just heard screaming. Near the other side of the creek. Who's that? Oh, that's it, that's it. Hey. That's it, that's it, that's it. Why are you, why are you following me? You're the one following me. No, why are you following me? Don't follow me. You're the one that's following me. Well, that's it. You're stalking me. You're, stalking You're following me right now. I said I sent you that link, right. so that would be a good video to upload or any other thing. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to come with him this morning, but I was too tired. So I was so tired. So, so you know. Okay, everyone, as you guys saw right there, crazy, crazy experience. You guys can hear the girls screaming in the beginning as they were entering the trail system. This right here is the trail system. <laughs> I believe this is called the Coastal Trail or the Tony Nose, one of those, but it connects through the whole, it, it goes all everywhere from mid um, south side all the way to Midtown. This is what I, I think, guys. So the Camel Creek area here, the Camel Creek area in south side from Midtown all the way to the south side, there's tons of section where this place is filled up with um you can call them homeless people street people but it's always filled up with some people camping around the woods here it's a very heavily wooded area but it's also a very um public 
news where people go hiking, walk their dogs, bikes, and etc., etc., and also fishing, like in this case. Uh, we're just going to call it. There's definitely homeless activity in these areas. And this is one of the things that I always fear whenever I go out and, you know, either so see this kind of stuff or document these kind of homeless activity i always fear that you always going to meet these type of people now majority of the homeless people they're pretty chill they're pretty cool you don't mess with them they won't mess with you but then nowadays i like to call these younger folks these folks that are in their 20s to like 30s these street people that choose this lifestyle a, a good amount of them choose this lifestyle a lot of them they got the balls now these are the folks that are ballsy they don't care about other people they don't care about hurting people they don't care about stealing they just do whatever they want and these are the folks that you have to be mindful if you ever go into any situation where these camps or homeless camps are are at you know you got to be careful around these folks. There's homeless folks that just drink and they just get drunk and those people are just super laid back. But then there's the one that's kind of ballsy. Um, they don't want you looking at them. They don't want you to film them, etc, etc. You can see here, this guy, he doesn't look like he's intoxicated or anything. He, I, I don't think he's on drugs. He could be on drugs. Um, you can see here, you know, he's he's being pretty mobile. You know, he might be high on something or he might have mental issues, you know, what everyone says. But you can see here, this guy is crazy. I don't know how many camps are in this section here where these two young bucks here got assaulted. I might say that maybe that female had to do something that maybe this guy was attacking that female in the beginning where you guys can hear her scream and maybe this guy was you know he was scared maybe he was scared that these two fishermen saw something or heard something and this might be where he became really um, protective and be very and be very aggressive you guys gotta be careful going out here especially if you're young i'm just glad that these guys um these two young fishermen didn't go um just by themselves if you guys are gonna go do anything in, in, in anchorage you know whether it's fishing and go on a walk or something definitely don't go by yourself guys even if you're going out there for like you know walk your dogs or something like that don't go out there by yourself at least it's always good to be in pairs you know so thankfully these two young bucks were in, in pairs and, and luckily they didn't get any harm or anything like that but this issue is a concerning issue ever since the pandemic pandemic happened there has been more and more I and mean, homeless is on the rise here guys homeless there's more homeless camps than ever before in anchorage um any every wooded area that you go to you'll find some kind of area and the thing is that the city is not doing anything about it and the city can't because in order for the city to <laughs> kick these people out they have to have some kind of shelter where they can provide so if, if they provide a shelter then they can kick these folks out but if they can't provide some kind of alternative legally they can't kick these folks out so they just let these people camp in the woods anywhere you go guys south side midtown mountain view east side Muldoon, you're gonna find some kind of issue like that definitely go in pairs um the young buck care said that you know he recommends everyone has a firearm I'm pro 2A, but you got to be careful, guys. I don't recommend everyone have a firearm unless they have the proper training because you don't want to be out there without the proper training and then all of a sudden your firearm ends up in the bad guy and the bad guy needs that on you. So don't arm yourself unless you have the proper skills, the proper training to do so because um somebody that might not be properly trained in this situation they might use that firearm when technically they don't have to like if i was in this situation and i had a firearm i probably wouldn't use it um just because you know i don't i wouldn't feel like it's a super threat yet you know even though he's charging at me he's not trying to advance more he just has a piece of wood and if i can escape the situation i would try to escape the situation as much as possible so there's all types of scenario of when to use it and when you shouldn't use it so i recommend people have the proper training if they are going to bear arm or something like that this situation here maybe it would have been nice to have like 
uh, bear spray and you can at least you know bear spray this guy or you know something like that where you can slow him down but this is a situation I definitely wouldn't use a firearm because I think it'd be a little bit overkill and you might get yourself into some legal action so don't take my word for it just make sure you have the proper training all in all guys be safe when you guys are going out there in the woods and the trails you know you never know what kind of people you might meet crazy folks there's all kind of crazy folks out there nowadays in anchorage or you know you never know if you might be some kind of you might meet some kind of wildlife but i'm glad that um our friend kendrick here and his brother are safe and i'm glad that they're here willing to share their story for us and hopefully they get this give you guys an eye opening of what's going on in anchorage alaska hopefully the city and the people in the office see this and hopefully they do something about it and also a big shout out to apd looks like apd responded to the situation pretty Pretty fast because it looks like they were able to apprehend the suspect you know which you know the suspect kind of ran off into the woods and kind of disappeared for a while so shout out to APD for doing that because most of the time we all know the police they take a long time to arrive but looks like they did make this a priority call this time hope you guys enjoyed this video you guys be safe out there and I'll see you guys next time bye bye